And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Swain Plank. Our first deck of the day. Kind of combining Gangplank and Swain. Just calling it Swain Plank. Um, I don't know, maybe that's kind of lame, but <laughs> that's kind of fun to say too, Swain Plank. Anyway, yeah, so we're going to be playing like this uh, kind of controlish kind of Bilgewater Noxus deck. Lots of removal, lots of powders. We got Dreadway Deckhand. Petty Officer, and even a couple more powders. So you can get those powders. The Probably the best card to use with the powders is Make It Rain. Um, you know, start doing two or three damage to three different things. And then we also have things like Death's Hand, Noxion Fervor, that kind of stuff that's great with the powders. If we get a leveled up uh, Gangplank, then powder, you know, having more powders with the leveled up Gangplank is amazing. Um, so that may be something that we kind of hold on to the more powder and wait for that. Um, but yeah, turning out, you know, we want to level up our Gangplank. So we want to be able to uh, deal damage to the enemy Nexus. So the Warning Shots do that. Plus that turns on our Plunder for our Black Market Merchant and Pilfer Goods. So, you know, so we can be nabbing some cards. Um, and then, yeah, we have our, our Swain to the top end. That should be very easy to level up. Um, Riptide Rex, Leviathan grabbing the Swain. Um, you know, so it's, it's kind of like a... Can, can, we can be aggressive, we can be controlly, so you know, like it's probably a pretty decent mid-range build there. All right, Swain Plank, first deck of the day. We're gonna be playing two different Gangplank decks today. Going with Gangplank Burn later on, and a couple of different Teemo decks with Teemo Shen, and then like the Professor uh, discard deck. Of course, that's Professor Von Yip, the card that deals with a whole lot of one drops, and Teemo is a one drop, and Teemo is gonna be in that deck also. <laughs> yeah, no, that's, yeah, Heim, Heimer, Vim, Heimer Dinger Vi is not beginner friendly whatsoever. That's a, that's a very, that's a difficult deck to play. Um, and yeah, you really need to know a lot about the metagame and stuff. Yeah, that's not a, not a very beginner friendly deck. And it's, it's tough to play too. It's, it's one I haven't had the most success with. It's, it's like whenever I play it, I never get Heimer Dinger and, Flash of Brilliance, whenever I play against it, they always have Heimerdinger and Flash of Brilliance. Um, we're going to keep these. I am very... Let's see, what are we playing against? Hello. I'm very tempted to just go turn 1-3-3 three, three Jagged Butcher. Very tempted to do that. Um, but hmm. Alright, not gonna do it. The problem with doing it is it makes my turn two pretty poor. We're really not playing very many 8-drops in our deck. Oh, that could be really nice. Atrocity with, like, Riptide Rex? Yes, please. So, waiting till turn 2, you know, that just really helps the Gangplank. Now we, we've played 3 turns, and we've leveled up Gangplank 3 times. Cool. And so I'm going to be Death Handing that, and I guess I just wait till next turn... Um, to Death's Hand that thing so that we can get the damage on, on their turn, so on round four. The eyes will bloom again. I would love to play Swain pre-combat. But I don't think we let them get the, you know, get the free 2-1, maybe play another 3-2 lifesteal, like that kind of stuff. I think we'd probably just go to combat. Alright, so this would put them down to 12. Um, so I could atrocity them, and that puts them to 6. Does 6 damage to them. Or I could just get this Maokai out of here. Yeah, Atrocity's worth 6 damage. Getting 
this would do three and kill Maokai. I think it's probably worth killing Maokai over doing three damage. Probably. Right, like, if I do it at them, they're at six, and they have... Like, would I rather them be at six and have Maokai, or be at nine and no Maokai? It's probably better nine, no Maokai. I will tend this god Noxus will not conquer the shadow. So they just have another Maokai, of course. As you think we'd seek to. I wish next turn was turn eight. I wish I had eight mana next turn. We did have, we did level up Gangplank turn five, but no Gangplank to speak of it. <laughs> we did damage the first five turns. Another atrocity. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um. So if I basically atrocity is not lethal because they could have vile feast, right? And so if I go atrocity, sack the. Sacrifice the Swain and try to do three, and then they just have Vile Feast. That's going to be kind of sad. And I don't think I don't think Powder Kegs make Atrocity do more damage. So yeah, I think I think I just wait till next turn and play Leviathan, honestly. Even though, then they have this Wanderer. I'll just put this thing in. You think the barrel increases the damage for Atrocity? I don't think it does. Because, like, barrel doesn't incre increase damage for Concerted Strike. We learned that, like, yesterday or the day before. Like Concerted Strike didn't do more damage with a barrel out. And so I don't think I don't think the atrocity will either then. Yeah, okay. So yeah, some of y'all are saying no, it won't because the atrocity has no value on its own. So yeah, I didn't. I don't think it will. Okay, so we have it now. And so life use their atrocity to show them that those are the two cards I stole were the two atrocities. Do they have the vile feast to stay alive? They did. They had the vile feast. That is like the worst thing to target.
So I'm glad we didn't just go for it by just sacrificing with the atrocity of the turn before. They did have the Vile Feast. Take the plunge. Go deep. I feel like we're like a quarterback yelling to a receiver. Go deep. No, I I am like 90% sure that the keg will not do extra damage with Atrocity. Like 90% sure. Well, this is another deep matchup, but our hand isn't as good. No, I could see just keeping all of this, but we're just going to help them. Hmm. Okay, I, I do like that. I do like Culling Strike. Great card at taking out Maokai. strike that thing I'll feel silly if I calling strike that then they have Maokai but that's it's gonna be difficult to deal with They're gonna have this one. We have the card advantage. Ah. We do have the card advantage. Okay, I like that draw. Vessel small, but she ain't lacking courage. different options here you know like devour of the depths is it necessarily the worst play Set the hooks. cool i will take another devour of the depths thank you
least they don't have any more of those. So the problem with playing Devourer of the Depths is that their hand is most likely filled with um, like Grass the Undying, Withering Whale, that kind of stuff. We haven't really seen that kind of stuff at all. So basically I don't think like just play Devourer or try to eat the Thorny Toad is going to necessarily work. They had the last one. Well, that's annoying. Well, that's really annoying. Hey, Big Alfredo. played a Heimer deck with Pilfer Goods, but I don't think I had Lure of the Depths. The Gotta have jettison, right? I, mean, I sure hope they don't have jettison, and I sure hope I can calling strike the Nautilus, but that just doesn't seem likely. Yep, they definitely have jettison. Darn. Another Devourer of Depths? How do they have so many? The water rises. I guess this one was from a Jaw Hunters, wasn't it? Yeah, okay, never mind. That one's from Jaw Hunters. That was the third one. Damn it. Yeah, they they got this game. I should have mulliganed my hand of like Black Market Merchant Pilfer Goods. Those are not ideal cards against the deep deck all the time. Especially the pilfer goods. It's just so slow and just helps them get deep and stuff like that. I should have mulliganed. Yeah, it's too slow. I mean, we have millions of card, yes, and we're out card advantaging them, but they're just gonna kill me, so. Big ships sink faster. Lesson learned. And honestly, I probably should just, I probably should just cooling strike their 1-4 right away. Yeah, yeah it was not, not the hand to keep in that matchup. All right, one one against deep. Let's play against something else. Let's have some variety. Won the first one against deep, lost the second one. I kept much too slow of a hand. And looks like we're playing against gank playing burn. The deck we're going to be playing it later on. We're going to definitely keep Death's Hand and Petty Officer, but I don't want to have two five mana cards. And 
I think I will keep Gangrelink out of the two. No. We need to find cards that cost one or two mana. Preferably make it rain. That'd be good. Jagged Butcher will do. Guess it doesn't block Precious Path. So I'm gonna pass. So I pass now, I'll have three mana for Death's Hand this turn. Because, you know, like, just Butcher doesn't doesn't match up with Precious Pet. Let me show you what I and it do. can be... It just doesn't match up against Crimson Disciple either. I think it may be better just to have du just a double spell next turn. Just go Petty Officer with one of these next turn. Or with Pulling Strike. So their way to keep this from calling striking is probably transfusion, which transfusion would kill the precious pet. That is the absolute worst card to hit with Petty Officer. I hit that card quite a bit, but it's the absolute worst card. It's a vanilla 1-1. One, one. Basically, have that with the Jagged Butcher. Oh, I still have more cards in the end than we do. That spray fin is pretty good. Really don't think I can just sit back and take two from the spray fin a whole bunch. Man, that was perfect. That was the perfect make it rain. And now my 3 3 can't block the two ones. Not getting some good variants. Not getting good variants. We hit the absolute worst possible one drop with Petty Officer. Their one drop was one of the very best you can hit. Their Make It Rain was the very best you can hit. And we're a deck with a lot more spells, and we just. Where's our removal? Where's our Make It Rain? A bunch of powder kegs. Yuck. Break their legs. I'd rather have the O3 than that 1-1. One, one. As far as 1-drops go. Spells, not more petty officers.
There we go. Good. Not a bad one. Okay, yep. We got some horrible variants in that game. This is I wouldn't mind playing that matchup again. I think that I think that our deck's actually may be favored in that matchup. Um yeah, I think it's a I think it's a close one. I think we may be favored. I wouldn't mind playing that again. We just we got some horrible variants. This on the other hand, I'm not thrilled about. I'm I hold this Ash Sedwani deck in very high regard, and I think it's I just think it's really good. I don't it's it's a difficult deck to beat. I'm probably gonna be going uh, uh, the deck's really good. I'm probably gonna be going with Powder Keg? Hmm. I was thinking Powder Keg so that Death's Hand could do 3 damage, so that 3 damage can kill Ash. Hey Biz, I'm doing good. How are you doing? Glad you're doing good. Um, yeah, it's gonna be a tough one to win. Sure. I will trade Blue Feather Tracker for Brittle Steel. Brittle Steel is really powerful. That sounds like a perfectly reasonable trade. That was a good pull for goods. I mean, I, I definitely like the harsh winds. The Ice Phil Archer, I'm um, meh about, but I definitely like the harsh winds. The War Mother will unite us all. Do I think Crimson Disciple will be a 2-2? Possibly. I I think that they're going to adjust the amount of 
Crying won't do any good. I think the more likely thing is they adjust the amount of damage it deals. They said they said they want to adjust, you know, in the last patch they said um, direct nexus damage from Noxus units. That's that was like their wording, and so I I kind of expect um, so I expect it like those those things to not be doing two damage, maybe doing one damage instead of two. So I think I think like maybe it's just a two three that does one damage. I don't like any of these lines. I don't. I mean, I guess I'll just play Swain, but I don't really even like this. Like, they're just a Culling Strike deck. But what am I supposed to do? Play Ice Veil Archer? Yuck. More Powder? Also yuck. I have to say that I... This this card has looked... Like, really, really poor. Like, much below average. This More Powder. We don't... It doesn't seem like we have, like... Like, we haven't had enough ways to to use powder cakes. Like, I just haven't... I haven't really wanted powder cakes ever. Like, we haven't, I haven't even chosen powder keg with Petty Officer yet. So, this is... look. So, like, these more powders really don't look like they should be in the deck. It looks like they should just be more removal spells or card draw or something else. Not, not thrilled with these more powders. Our turn six and turn sevens have been carved from the savage core. Um, stand and fight. Come on, three SH twenty. Seriously, six of them at the four two. You like Yordle Grifter? That's that's what these more powder should be. They should just be Yordle Grifter. Right? Like we have nothing at the four mana slot. We have a lot of Bilgewater cards. The, Yor the Yordle Grifters would give us more warning shots for Riptide Rex and more warning shots for Gangplank and Swain and stuff like that. And they were playing Black Market Merchant anyway. That's what that's what these need to be. These need to be Yordle Grifters. Few earn the right to call themselves Trifarian. That's what should happen. Uh, I'm I'm usually I'm I like Riptide Rex. I'm usually super happy with having Riptide Rex in the decks. That was that was something that I think was more of an anomaly than normal. This Ash Sedwani deck is amazing. I I'm not sure why more people aren't playing it. It has everything. Like how do you you know how do you beat Trifarian Assessor Aphros and Hearthguard? Like how do you beat those two? This this deck is just I I don't think this is any one specific specific person's deck. This is just a deck that 
tons of people play. It's a very popular deck. It's, I think, the second most popular deck behind the Noxus deck on Mobilitics. Those tier rankings are usually wrong. I wouldn't I wouldn't put too much stock in the tier rankings on Mobilitics. I, I love the stats page on Mobilitics. The tier rankings are usually uh, wrong. I just wouldn't I wouldn't put much stock in them. I I honestly haven't looked at the tier rankings in weeks. I they're yeah. I'm gonna try for our fifth game. I'm gonna take out these more powders and put in Yordle Grifters. I just don't see more powder being useful much at all. Where well, I would love to have a Yordle Grifter right now to like go grab another warning shot for these things. No, I like. I think. I think warning shots an important card. I wouldn't. Oh, I guess. I mean, you could go to two warning shots if you want to go to three Yordle Grifters, I guess. But no, I, I like warning shot. It's just. Yeah, like these. We can't do damage to them. We have way too many powder cards and way too little things that actually care about powder cards. We have. And a more powdered stuff isn't isn't useful. Um, could be could be you could go spray fin also, but I would I would go yeah like I'll go Euro Grifter in here twenty eight twelve. Yeah. All right, we're just gonna make that small change. Yeah, spray fin's also good. Um, I mean, our, our deck has 19 spells, 21... Well, it did have 19 spells, 21 units, but we just hadn't... didn't seem like we had very many spells. The warning Shot, more Pounder, like, those aren't affecting the battlefield at all. And Pilfer Goods isn't either. Alright, so I'm editing this. So we're going to take out more powder. I think there's... So basically, I think that there's a lot here with the Swain Gangplank, but I think that we may need some, some stronger cards in different spots. I think there's a lot of good stuff available here in like these Bilgewater Noxus regions, but... Skeptical about some cards. Battering Ram. The order rewards its faithful. That may have been a place like where I was supposed to just go warning shot on turn one. 
to help out Gangplank for turn one and turn this thing into a 3-3. That might have been a mistake to, to wait on the warning shot. We'll see. Maybe we draw a... Um, Let's get to it. Maybe we'll draw um, a Riptide Rex later and love have it, having that warning shot. Play battering ram. I, I'm definitely worried about twin disciplines with as far as calling strike goes. And so that's definitely something that I don't want to use right away. Because I don't like I don't want them to attack as like two six twos. We could do that and then we could still have Noxion Fervor as well, but um, I think that worked out just fine. So one calling strike down. Excuses for war. No going back. Now we can compare. That hurts. I'm having another calling strike. That hurts. A, a lot better than a more powder would be. Eh, I guess a more powder would have the make it rain <clears throat> ability. Steal? Was our calling strike a card that we stole from them, you said, so they have no calling strikes left? I don't quite remember that. Well, we know they're out of battering rams. Yeah, like we have two pulling strikes. I thought I thought we just drew a calling strike. Looking for this. Okay, so yeah, yeah, we just do a regular pulling strike, okay. Beast of 
Sure hope they don't have another deny. Wow. That hurts. That hurts. Second deny to go along with the second. You know, the two calling strike, two denies. Ouch. have to block with this thing. Especially how like that second, you know, like the dot deny the previous turn doesn't help with that. So there we go. Um, one and four. I, I definitely am. I'm. I would definitely, certainly, really recommend playing Yordle Grifter and not more Powder. Um, but I don't know. Like Petty Officer, honestly, didn't look that great for us. And Dread Dreadway Deckhand didn't do anything. I, I don't know. It's our deck was kind of weird. I don't know. It's just, our, I guess our, our cards didn't line up against our opponent's cards, right? Like we're, we're a very reactive deck. That's not true. We are a reactive deck, but not very reactive, but we are, we're a reactive deck and our cards didn't line up against their cards. There was multiple games that I did just sit with warning shot and didn't use it. And then there was other games like where I had like Riptide Rex and, and a bunch of plunder cards and I couldn't, I couldn't play, you know, couldn't turn them on cause I didn't have warning shot. <clears throat> Just didn't have the best of luck after that first game. The first game, uh, everything lined up really well, and our deck looked great. And then every game after that, not so much. Um, I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't really know what else to say about the deck. Um, I think I would prefer more, more just generally good cards that are good in every single matchup that that always give you stuff. Basically, like Yordle Grifter, Zap Spray Fin. I think that we could be playing more of those, the four mana slot. Um, I kind of feel like Pilfered Goods isn't that great. And that Yordle Grifter, Zap Spray... Like, I'd I think I'd rather have Yordle Grifter and Zap Spray Finn as card advantage stuff over Pilfer Goods. Our Pilfer Goods was consistently pretty poor. And, you know, it. it's not It's not just a three-mana draw two because we're not just drawing two of our cards. We're drawing two of their cards. So it's worse than draw two because we don't get to build our deck around it. And, you know, like, we would just draw cards that weren't really useful and then it's... It's also kind of difficult to turn on, and it you're not affecting play at all. I, I, I think that just now with Pilfer Goods being three mana, just playing Yordle Grifter, Sprayfin. So like, okay, so like if we just take those out, play Sprayfin and Yordle Grifter, and probably just take out Black Market Merchant. It really didn't do do enough. Um, we could play like. Uh, Like why don't we play? Like why don't we play Crimson Disciple? Could have hired gun. Could play Legion Grenadier. Ooh. 
What if... So what if we get rid of Warning Shot also? I do like Legion Grenadier. Um, but maybe we, maybe you just go Disciple, Demolitionist, Transfusion. Instead of Grenadier. Because, you know, tra Transfusion can really help protect your Gangplank and Swain. You know, not have your Swain get Calling Striked and stuff like that. Um, maybe, maybe it's just Disciple, Demolitionist, Transfusion. You know, maybe you just go that route. Uh, like, those Noxus cards are amazing. Right, so, like, I'm basically saying that I just want to play more good cards. Unless, I guess that's a bunch more Noxus stuff that, that hurts Yordle Grifter. Less super situational cards, and honestly, like the nab stuff, just you know, it's gotten it's gotten nerfed quite a bit, and it's not nearly as good as it used to be. Black Market Merchant and Pilfer Goods, and it's like maybe just going going this route. I'm gonna I'll just put in Legion Grenadiers and Hired Guns to start with, um, but you know maybe maybe just kind of going that route and just going better cards is the the thing to do. Um, still cards that help. You know, like your Grenadier helps your Gangplank and your Swain and stuff like that. But, yeah, I mean, I mean, basically, basically all I'm doing is I'm just turning this into the Gangplank burn deck. Is, is kind of what I'm doing, what I'm doing. So, basically, I, I think that this is going to be a worse version of Gangplank burn that we're, that we are going to be playing later. But, anyway, uh, that is Swain Plank. Um, those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Feel free to leave those comments with the deck. Also, if you got any like awesome suggestions or, you know, other ways to use Swain, Gangplank, um, am I underrating these powders or, you know, like, you know, feel free to let me know. Um, it didn't look like the powder cards did anything, but to be fair, I never had a powder card with the one, with the one real reason to play it, make it rain. But, all right. Anyway, that's it here for Swain Plank. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.